first thing to do would be going to the performance section of the website. Then you can look at all different cultivars in terms of character traits. This includes long season crops, short season crops, and characteristics and distributors. I'm going short season because I live in a short season region. As you can see here, it's a lot of different cultivars. And you can see their yield data. Some of which have been tested for five years, ours of which have been tested for four years, and the averages of the yield per bushel, or in this case, pounds per acre, has been counted. As you can see right here, I like Bolt and OEC Fusion. They seem pretty cool in terms of cultivation, very short time frame before harvesting. Let's look at characteristics. Ooh. Fusion has unknown in terms of disease resistance, but both seems to be really hardy to mosaic virus and at least one strain of anthracnose. So OAC fusion seems to be a good one. Let's look at another. ND. No yield data for the five year thing. But AAC shock seems to be a good one as well. Let's look at this one. Ah, susceptible to infractinose, but resistant to both forms of the mosaic virus and resistant to common blight. So both and AA shocks would be pretty good. Let's see how they compare. Now we're at this point right here where we look at the differences in terms of disease resistance, yield, and so on and so forth. Now we select our two cultivars here. Now let's select disease ratings, yield in tons per hectare and pounds per acre, and maturity. And voila, as you can see right here, we know that both of these varieties are bred by the same company, more or more so distributed by the same company. Excuse me. In terms of tons per hectare, AAC shock has higher yields overall than Bolt. Same thing over here in pounds per acre. And Bolt matures a little bit earlier than AAC shock. And that's how you read a 
cult of our trial within gobean.ca. Thank you for watching.